Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Camille Trent. Today we're going to be painting Wisteria on Floral Friday. Um, this is so simple. This is like under 10 minutes. Very easy to do, just a couple of colors. Really, anybody, any beginner can do this. I also want to mention, if you didn't look at yesterday's tutorial, is the botanical, vintage botanicals. You should check it out. I actually show you how to draw them. And then I show you how you can just paint over them and I actually have a PDF printout you could buy that is the exact same uh, botanical that I did on my Etsy shop linked in that description so you can print it out on watercolor paper and paint along if you want to do that if that's easier for you so let's get started okay so let me go over materials I have my arches 100% cotton paper uh, here it's uh, like a 10 by seven inch piece of paper. I have my brushes. I'm going to be using the number eight Princeton Velvet Touch Long Round and the Robert Saf Simmons Sapphire Half Inch Oval Brush Paper Towel Water. And I mix a couple of greens, like there's a hooker's green, and there's a medium green with some yellow and some purple dioxide with ultramarine. So let's get started. I'm just going to grab some of this medium green, I mean, light limey type of green gonna make a stem pull it down and I'll put some little branches off that stem on this section up here I'm gonna grab this oval brush put some water on it grab this purple color I'm gonna dab it a little bit I'm just gonna make these swooping Like circular blobby shapes which this does really well and connect it to that little end of the branch there take some of the paint off make some lighter ones same thing go down here make some lighter ones The wind is crazy today. There's a storm outside, so it's a little wild. Grab some little ones over here. It's basically doing like these simple little blobby little things that cascade down. And towards the bottom, we're just going to do like small little ones that attach. To the branch. Get your first branch like so. Okay, so we'll do another branch over on this area here. Like so. We'll add little branches off that again. Like we did the first time randomly put them here and there. Again, go back and grab that brush that we were using. It makes up some more paint. Let's see. It really soaks up the paint, so. Again, make those little blobby lines connecting to the branch. Get some darker color out here. Just to change it up a bit. Go back down in here. This 
is fairly simple, easy exercise to do. Very therapeutic. I'm just making like these blobby little shapes that go down. Again, as you go down to the bottom, you get little darker shapes. Just a little. We go in the branch like that. If it bleeds, that's fine. Put some out here. Gonna leave some white space, but then you want to go in here and bleed a little bit. this, put that there, bleed some of the color out, grabbing another branch over here, kind of tucking behind this one, another one out this way. Again, grabbing those colors making these blobular shapes attaching to the branch. Some can get a little darker up top because they're going to just dry and lighter anyway. When you look at wisteria, they have those little blobular kind of flowers anyway. See, I'm moving this brush this way and that way. And then to go pull it in with the end of it. It's fairly simple. Again on this one, do the little small ones at the end. It's a fairly simple exercise. You can go back in and add some deeper tones up in here. Give it a variety, not too much, just a touch here and there. See, I'm adding dark ones up here, I'm leaving light ones down there. This is a very, very simple and pretty floral you could do. Try not to add too many blooms. And if we want to just take another little branch and grab some of my color here. Have it peeking through. Connect these greens. Up here. To change it up a little bit. And then I would just, for this one, I would just take a bunch of smaller, even with a smaller brush, little, like buds. Just like over in here. Very pale. And 
and bleed some of that color right in there. And there you go. It's that simple. You want to add like another tone up in here, like I'm doing here with the blue. Just giving it another layer. If you don't have that oval brush, you can see how you just use it. This brush, you're just kind of making the circular blobby shape connecting. Just like so. And there you go. Simple area that you can do for a fun floral watercolor exercise. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If so, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for stopping by and have a great day.